Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Chill, No Man's Sky. So, first things first, yesterday was the 50th anniversary of, you know, the moon landing. It was amazing. I mean, obviously I wasn't around for it. 26 years before my time. But, it was an amazing point in history. So let's go ahead and head up to the hollow terminus. We got 25 units away. Let's head up this ladder. God, it is cold. I'm liking this jam though, not gonna lie. Alright, thermal protection active, that's fine. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Okay. Signal match detected. Alright. There's Artemis. Tracking your position. Let me know when you're ready for some data. Artemis transmits a packet of data, a star chart showing the little skies around their location. Only have the equipment I came here with, and it's done me no good so far. I don't know where I am, and I don't know how long I've been here. So, what do you think of the old fashioned approach? We use the sky to figure out where I am. If you visit a space station, you should find plenty of locals to able to match our star patterns. We'll put our transit at the so that you can understand what they're saying. I need to calibrate it first, but that should add to a few words. Good huh. luck, or maybe see you soon. Let's go save our boy Artemis. Oh yeah, I did that in the last episode. That little dialogue there. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Yeah. All right, so I need to learn some words. So I gotta go learn three words. Let's head over to the space station to do that. Oh yeah, so. I feel what better way to celebrate, you know, what I'm going to be calling Moon Week because, you know, the whole mission lasted, I think, from the 16th to the, at the 20th, or the 21st, one of those days. I don't remember off the top of my head right now. But to top it off, I believe we also had a lunar eclipse past this just past week. So, you know, lots of moon stuff going on. It's pretty fun. See, we get to the space station in 41, 40 seconds. So I will catch you guys there. All right, so let's go ahead and learn some new words. Also, sorry if there was a random transition there. I'm going to be trying out a new thing for games that have either um, long battles or long travels. Because I think what will be best for me will be getting, you know, actual progress done. So, Arcanary in the north, I guess. That's from increasing the gestures chart in front of them. They appear to be adding their own notes, tallies next to certain locations. But we are nods and thanks and appears to raise themselves for some great action. I wonder what I have caused. I don't know. But yeah, so what I'm going to be doing from now on, you know, games like... No Man's Sky and, you know, more open-ended games. I'll give myself goals and each episode will be about that goal. Okay, so that was the same thing I just said in the south and they get tense. Uh, I need more dike to learn the words. Okay, I'll leave the Viking B. How do I get more more dike? Can I buy some off these guys, maybe? You, do you have any more dike for me, buddy? Uh huh. Uh, do you have any more dite? Let's start with that. No, no, you do not. Okay. But yeah, so games that are either long in terms of battles, so things like Shining Force or wait, you know, Disgaea, which I, <laughs> I I might still play that. I don't know. Honestly, it's been a long time since I touched that game. 
I might not go back and actually go fight Tyrant Overlord Ball. That that just takes too much setup. Enormous Metal Cog. Why? What's the point of any of this stuff? Mango Gold? Oh, Magno Gold. Okay. I don't see the thing I need, though. So, we're gonna leave that be. You. Okay. Alright, so... I can't buy any more date. Uh oh. Uh, okay. That's not gonna open. Back to the planet I go, I guess. Oosh. But yeah, so... Games, like I was saying, more open-ended or the battles are very long and drawn out. I'll just be skipping through them, or I would fast forward through them normally, but I don't think that's really worth it. It's not like anybody's gonna actually watch the long drawn out battle systems. So I think what would be better is if I just outright skip them. And you know, I already did it in this episode where I skipped the actual travel. Like normally I would skip this, but I'm obviously gonna be talking through it. But I'll skip the travel and I'll skip any long drawn out battles and just go straight to the conclusion unless something funny or interesting happens in the middle of it. So I'll be going to that system and the same thing will apply for Final Fantasy, you know, random battles and stuff like that. I'm not going to actually have them all in there. I might have like the first two or three in a new game just to show off the battle system, but only important things will actually be left in the actual system or in the actual videos. I don't want to have every single battle I do in the video. Instead, each video will be oriented around a specific goal in mind, and the video won't be over until I either A, meet that goal, or B, get halfway to that goal in case it's like, you know, a two-hour recording session for, you know, a 20-30 minute video. It's not, that, that's too much. Oh, wait, I can find ancient structures using this guy. I'll go do that real quick. Alright, you, you. Alright, signal booster, I need you to input data. Uh huh. Scan for artifacts, that's what I want. Let's see that. Because I should be able to find the word things near there. But yeah, so I'll be skipping travel time and long drawn out battles from now on. Yes. Get me all the way over there. All right, 21 minutes. So obviously like this one, I'll skip through it. Wait, wrong direction. I'll skip through it and I'll meet you guys there. So the song might cut out a little or it might jump, but I'll still be keeping the music playing the entire way through. So if you get random jumps in the songs that you liked, remember the songs will be listed in the uh, upper left-hand corner of the screen. So if you like a song, just look it up. And then I actually will also from now on start linking the playlist mix that's playing in the video's description below. So make sure you guys check that out if you happen to like the mix. All right, and we have arrived. Oh wait, have we used this one before? Maybe, I don't, I, I don't know. Pop out and find out, I think I have. Yeah, these are all glowy. I think these are all used. Fudge sickles. What in turd nation? Um. All right, deposit. Fairy technology module. Technology module. Some rocks. Some plants. Alien artifact. Way over there. We're gonna go over there next. So I will meet you guys over there. Wow, I am an idiot. I literally didn't need to do that. I'm actually an idiot. So I flew over here for nothing. Whatever, I got a word. That's a salt deposit.
Alright, let's just go flying. I'll cut out the flying and then see what we find. Oh, I think I got one, boys. Yes, alien artifact. Give me. The wrong end? No, it's right side. Dowry. Why would? Why would I care about that word? Salt deposit. Very technology module. Find me alien artifacts, you jerk. Metal fingers. Hopper. Unknown building. I'll go there. I know that's where the sentinels are. Oh, uh, I guess I'll go fight some sentinels. Let me... Uh, refuel my life support, if I can. One second. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Just need to check on something. Do I need to refuel life support? Oxygen. Find some oxygen plants first. Um, do I not have any near me? Oh. This uh, could be a slight problemo. There's an artifact over there. Oh wait, no. First, oxygen. I need that. Or I done kill myself. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm gonna let you finish, but oxygen. Oxy. Sodium nitride. Ooh. I'll take that. Or nitrate, not nitride. I will also take these dihydrogen crystals because they'll be useful later. So I'm gonna cut out the travel time. Eh, actually, maybe not. Not for this one. It's a it's a short jaunt. It's a short sojourn. And also, I found some more oxygen. Give me that. All right. I'll definitely cut out the walk back to the ship, though. But we're here. Give me some knowledge. Give me that knowledge. Mmm, that knowledge. Alright, so we're back in the ship, but before I go off... Sentinels die! Goodbye. <laughs> Blow up your stuff, Sentinels. I don't like y'all. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, it's around here somewhere. Directly below me, is that why I can't find it? No. Where did it go? Ooh, I oriented myself so weirdly. I know it's down a hill. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Sentinels are pointed this way. There they are. They're over there. I'll keep searching, buddy. Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Skipping. We're just going over here now. So, I will see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, so let's go talk to some people. See what we got. You. Brah, interloper. Such little honor if I keen on impressed. Through the garble of Artemis' translator, it's clear that I'm yet... To make an impact among the Vikings, I need to improve my reputation rank. Okay. Alright, so let's go improve my standing with the Viking. 
How would I do that? Talking to you guys. Viking warrior. Uh, interloper Darbo. Indicates that their ancestors are currently not insulted. They make friendly barking noises. What would I barter? Prefect Umbinza accepts my offer and gives me a package in return. Okay. Uh, ooh, life support gel, I guess. Officer Ent. By Kingdom Jux. Uh, confused as I approach. You scan the surroundings nervously, worried, darting around the room. Uh, my card is just angry. My anger speaks for worry in a way I did not anticipate. They have clearly been conditioned to expect this sort of exchange, and it appears to bring them comfort. Okay. Interloper ball. The warrior seems less aggressive than I expect. The lips curl over the teeth. Uh, literally nothing useful here. All right, I'm gonna leave you alone, buddy. All right, if there's nothing to gain here, oh wait, no, I already spoke to you. Bye. All right, so we're gonna raise our ranks. I think I have to just go do missions. In serious, the summon multi tool to the nearby surface and pull the trigger again and again, but nothing happens. All systems are functional. Hollow and empty click. Hold on. What recharges a multi tool? Carbon or condensed carbon? I have condensed carbon, I just don't have enough condensed carbon. Let's go give him some, some more condensed carbon. And where do I get more condensed carbon? I think I could buy some in here. Maybe hey, that'll increase my standing with the Viking a little bit because I helped out. I helped him out with his problem. Condensed carbon? Do you have any? Maybe. Oh. No. No, you do not. But can I make? Or refiner? Yes, because I have one. Ha ha! Oh no! That's not way. Can I buy regular carbon? I'll give you my guy. Alright, we're gonna see if this works. If this works, that'll be awesome. And you literally have no carbon. Okay, goodbye. Actually useless to me. Okay, 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 okay. Don't break your ankles. We're good. I need more carbon. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to increase my ranking with the Viking, just do the random missions, get this thing going. Can you leave me alone? Can you leave me alone? I wish to get more carbon. Bye. Man, leave me alone. There we go. Increase my standing a little bit by doing that. That's awesome. Boy, how am I detected? I'm all the way up here. Don't leave me alone. Oh no, I've been detected. Oh no. No, let me just fly away. Oh, go to buy. Play me a hot man. Hey, y'all can search all you want. You're not gonna find me. I'm off planet. Oh, hey, hey, wait a minute. No. None of this either. I'm not having any of that business. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want anybody messing with me. I'm going to fast forward until once I get to this actual space station. Go away. No hostile sub scan garbage in progress. Garbage away from me. All right, we're about five seconds away from the space station, so we're going to do three more missions and then just call it a day with Let's Chill No Man's Sky, I think. All right, there we go. I mean, I know it doesn't look like much in terms of progress, because I'm sure this video is only going to be like 15, 20 minutes long, but I've actually been playing for about 45 minutes, so I think it's good progress. But still, you know, that's that's the important thing. Progressing the story, finding out what's actually going on. I Meanwhile, I still haven't done anything with the Atlas Path anymore. I got completely sidetracked by this thing. And I love it. So we'll do the Atlas Path later. 
or path later once I finish out this story. All right, let me talk to this guy. Let me see if maybe one of these guys wants to say something. Not in key. Okay, not intent on violence. All right, thank you. Goodbye. You guys, anything? Uh, not intent on violence. Okay, bye. I'll assume they all want to be that type. Okay. Across a quest across the star sounds noble. But what makes better than any test over here? All lies are just lies, regardless of what grand purpose we ascribe to them. I should embrace these opportunities. Life form offers me access to a list of missions and their associated rewards. Okay, well let's browse. Let's see what we got. So don't want to do that. Feed six creatures. Kill twenty-eight creatures, kill eight sentinels, or collect uranium. Jesus. Uh let's do that one. Feed six creatures. Okay, I guess I'll accept that. All right, and then killing these creatures will also work, I guess. Um. I do kind of want to kill sentinels, but uranium though. I don't even think we have a planet in this star system that has uranium. Yeah, insufficient rank. Didn't think so. All right, so we'll go these. We'll do these two missions. I'll fast forward. Uh, the good news is feeding creatures is easy. You just walk up to them, give them the food that they prefer, move on. And the other one is just killing twenty-eight creatures. So I'll fast forward to the end of those missions. Like, I, I won't bore you with actually feeding creatures or killing creatures. Just know it'll be done for the sake of Herc. Wee! For the sake of progress, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so slight change of plans. That took me a lot longer than I thought it would. Like, I had to try to search for Cobalt. Turns out I didn't have any. Had to then try to figure out where I can get some in this star system. It turns out I can't. Then I had to go find, you know, a way to get my freighter back. There we go. I fed one creature. Decoding the Let's go feed another. And yeah, now he'll follow me around a little bit. There's another one. Let me make sure I'm on the right mission before I do this. Because this is going to cost me copper or cobalt every time I feed them. I don't know how much. Three cobalt. Alright, so that's not the right button. Also not the right button. Not tab. Did it escape? Any little piece, yeah. Hey, he pooped, I think. Hey, he's pooping. Copyright crystals. Goose. Why did I pick that up with my bare hands? I question a lot. Uh, where did he go? Hi, little guy. Here you go. Be fed and be well. I have two creatures now. Where are the rest of you? Guys, you can go to sleep. Is that what happened? Your floor. I don't care about you. Hey, it's a big one. Wish to feed you as well. Three. find more life forms. I've fed three so far. I'll mark that for later. I 
Switch. Alright, so I'm gonna go fast forward again. Skip through uh, the rest of the feeding process. Because killing them is gonna go by a lot faster. Uh, that, that should be relatively quick. Although I don't particularly enjoy killing the creatures in this game because they're pretty cool. Alright guys, so I just finished the first mission. I think I'm actually just going to leave it off here. I am getting pretty dang hungry. So I'll leave this episode off here for today guys. I'm sorry it's so short. But hopefully I will be getting used to the new format of, you know, cutting out all the travel time and all that stuff for all my games. So that way, you know, brand new games, I might include the first battle or two, but after that, you know, it becomes repetitive. So I'll skip that out and I'll focus more on story. So other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Chill, No Man's Sky. Hope you all have a great and wonderful day. Enjoy Moon Week, everyone. You know, it's, it's a very important time. I think it was the 24th that we came back to Earth. So, 50 years ago was, you know, the first day aliens landed on the moon. Pretty insane. But, other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Chill No Man's Sky. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the new format for, you know, the videos and making them a little shorter. And, other than that, guys, if you aren't already subscribed, join the Curly Crew. Hit that subscribe button you're already in. That simple. And... Make sure you hit that notification bell whenever I drop a brand new episode. You guys are the first to know. You know, hit that notification squad hype. But I will catch you all here next time, everyone. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.